life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We fought for these ideals, and we shouldn't settle for less. These are the ideals that America, our country, was founded upon. Now, let's take those ideals, and I'm going to give you a scenario. You are a soldier fighting for the life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness of your country. And as you charge into battle, the other members of your deployed team, your brothers and your sisters, are shot and killed right before your eyes. Others are getting blown to pieces by landmines. And you are the only one who manages to survive physically uninjured. When you return home, you are left with two things. One, a shell of who you used to be. And two, survivor's guilt. After months of the guilt constantly eating away at you, the memories and the nightmares plaguing your mind nonstop, you decide to end it all. This is 22 a day. Does anyone have an idea what the 22 actually represents? The 22 represents how many veterans kill themselves each day. They kill themselves because of post-traumatic stress disorder, also known as PTSD, and other traumatic injuries they have obtained while they were in battle. I strongly believe that the men and women who serve this country so proudly should not have to suffer for risking their lives on the battlefield. We are fighting in a war. We are fighting in a war to protect the lives of the veterans who fight to protect us. We are fighting in the war to end veteran suicide. Now, let's be honest. Some of you might be thinking in the back of your minds, well, this has been going on forever. How are you, a teenager, trying to fix this now? Well, yeah, I'm a teenager. I go here to Ursuline Academy in Wilmington, Delaware, just on the East Coast. I want to be able to make an impact that can potentially save a veteran's life. And when he gets to heaven, to St. Peter he will tell. Just another soldier reporting, sir. I've served my time in hell. The number of veterans committing suicide each year is too high. 18% of veterans commit suicide each year. And if that number doesn't sound big enough to you, 8,030 veterans each year. 8,030 lives each year are killing themselves because of PTSD and other traumatic injuries they've obtained while they were in battle. The passion to help veterans has been near and dear to my heart for almost as long as I can remember and was strengthened when I heard the story of someone I know. My dad has a friend who is part of the Black Hawk Down operation in Mogadishu, and I will refrain from using his name due to the fact that he still works in the military today. He was one of the few who managed to survive the attacks from Somalian terrorists, and I was informed that he, along with several other veterans in our country, have a very specific form of PTSD known as survivor's guilt. What is survivor's guilt? Survivor's guilt is when a veteran believes they have done something wrong by surviving a traumatic event. Sometimes, when they return home, the PTSD makes it harder for them to readjust. Sometimes the slightest sound, smell, or various other triggers can cause the traumatic memories of that veteran to resurface, therefore causing 22 veterans each day, each day, to commit suicide. 22 veterans each day. Veterans who risk their lives on the battlefield day in and day out are committing suicide because of PTSD and other traumatic injuries they have obtained while they were in battle. 
Now, let me give you another scenario. You are a soldier having returned home from battle. The memories, the nightmares, continuously plaguing your mind nonstop. Think about this. Wouldn't it be nice to have something, anything, to help you when you have returned home so you can reconnect with your family, your loved ones? Thank the veterans you meet each day and thank them for caring for us and think about each and every one of them when you do that. Let's care for the veterans who care so much for us and our amazing country. Thank you.